Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your July reading. I'm so excited to look into this energy for you. The readings for July have been so beautiful. I'm ready to look into the sun, the moon, the rising signs of the Scorpio Collective. Remember, if this video does not resonate with you, there's multiple reasons why. It could be that the energies need to be reversed, like reverse the roles as you please. It could be that I'm reading about love, but you wanted to know about career. You could just make that love reading into a career reading. It's the same energy. It's just how it comes out for more Scorp Scorpios is how it will come out. You can always hear what you need to hear in the messages. These messages are timeless. So if you're brought to this channel in this reading, then there's something in it for you, whether you need it today or in the future. What we do is at the end of this video, I release the trapped emotions for your sign and I'll let you know what essential oils and crystals can help you maximize your energy. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for lots of details. If this reading does not resonate with you, it means, may mean that I'm not picking up on your specific energy, and that happens to me sometimes with my favorite readers. So what I do is I just click off, and then I come back later and see if we're still, if they've gotten me that time. I'm not doing readings at this time, like personal readings, so I'll let you know when my schedule opens up. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. This way you get notified as soon as I post something new. So the trapped emotions at the end of this video that we're going to release are bitterness that's hiding in your liver since the age of five and horror in the bladder at the age of six. So we all trap some emotions um, when we're really, really young because we don't know what to do with them and we don't sometimes have healthy adults to help us walk through that. So um, that's what we're going to try to, that's what we're going to release today because that's one of my gifts. So I'm clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant, and then I have the ability to release trapped emotions as well. And so let's go ahead and get started. I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Scorpio Collective's highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. I wanted to make sure it's still recording. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to say a couple of things. Those people who are brand new here, sorry, I just shook the camera. I just banged on the table. Those people who are new here, I just want to say thank you so much for checking out this channel and seeing if this is something that you might enjoy. Um, and uh, those people who have already subscribed, thank you so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I'm so appreciative of that. There are many different ways that you can support this channel so that you know. So one, you can do a donation. I really like the synchronicity numbers like one, 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 five, 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 something like that. Five, five, so, you know, just a bunch of numbers are fun. Even one, one, one is cool. Like it's, it's just really cute. Um, so there's a link there. You can do any of the Amazon affiliate links, which I suggest books and I suggest crystals and you can ever, lots of things that are up here. You can actually get in the description box down below. Um, you can support this channel by getting a doTERRA membership. There's a link in the description box down below for doTERRA because I only use doTERRA essential oils and I have a full team. So um, no matter how big this channel gets, you will always have someone that you can ask about oils and stuff. Okay. You'll have someone directly assigned to you. So you'll never be missed. That'd be a good relationship. And you can also uh, check out any of the readers down below, the psychic readers. If you go to any of them, please just mention this channel and that way I can get a discount when I go see them. And then what music I use is also in the description box. I mean, there's so many things, so many different ways that it, just watching these videos and watching ads actually supports the channel and gives me a small commission as well. So um, I'm very, very appreciative of anything that you do. Liking, sharing, commenting, those are wonderful things too. And thank you for being here. So Scorpio, these tend to be longer videos. I mean, the one I just got done with Taurus was so long. And it's because um, it's the whole month of July that we're, we're looking at the energy for. And then we talk about oils and crystals. And we release, there's a small meditation at the end. They release their emotions for the month. And you can come back to that ending meditation as many times as you need to if you're feeling this certain uh, uh, feeling come up again. You can release it as many times as you need to, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Okay. We have some fast-moving energy coming in. We have your talent shining. Let's see what's going on. Um, we got some stability. We have questions about your reunion. Maybe you're asking about a threesome. I don't know what you're asking about there, but we'll find out in a second when they start talking to me. All right. And then I always clarify these cards right here. Oof, we got celebration. That's beautiful. All right. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. So, and then we also have the Page of Cups. 
Let me find out if they want me to go any deeper. All right, so you guys get two cards. Everybody else is getting like four and five on the bottom of the deck. So I didn't feel like I needed to do any more, but this is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's talk about this. The month of July, what is the overall energy? The big picture is that the king of wands. So you're going to be taking your mask off. That's good. That's a really good thing. So we have you feeling more honorable, feeling like you're more self-aware, that you're more free during this month. You're going to feel more wise and you're going to want to communicate. Wands are always communication. So I'm feeling like really strongly that this card is saying that it's time to take your mask off and give that cup of love, the page of cups. So we have a page of cups who um, is about love and good news and he, uh, he's a dreamer no gender to the cards guys this is just what the energy is and this person enjoys life so it seems to me like july is going to be a beautiful beautiful month for you about enjoying yourself and enjoying life and just feeling really good in yourself and in your body um man maybe you're going to be hanging out with aquarius is who aquarius feels like they're going to be running on naked beaches so um they're going to be feeling that great so if you don't have an aquarius in your life you probably need one because they're going to feel amazing this month <laughs> so you're coming from some really happy energy as well so it seems like things are going your way you're feeling pretty good um it feels like that mercury retrograde energy may be kind of dissipating for you where a lot of people are still feeling the mercury retrograde energy maybe it feels to me like it's a little lighter for you you're feeling pretty good you're feeling pretty amazing you're feeling good in your body you're feeling good in yourself you know your finances are doing well you're just in a really good place that's great all right knight of wands this is what the main energy of the month is going to be is the knight of wands so it's going to be moving really fast so events are going to speed up. Blocks are going to be lifted. You're going to want to take action. You may even want to write. Um, there's travel in the mix this month for you. Travel in the mix for a lot of people. You're going to feel very ambitious and fired up and you want to take action and you just feel really, really awesome. This is a great month. I, I want to, do I have any Scorpio in my chart? <laughs> I live with Scorpio. Okay, so Page of Pentacles is great because it means your talent's going to start shining. You're going to you're getting the money's coming in. You're feeling auspicious. Those people who want a job, this is a great time to go looking for a job because you can get a job offer. Um, you're checking the details. You're expressing yourself in writing. You're going to want to you're going to want to talk. Reminiscing chats are coming up. You got lots of opportunity. This is great energy. This month is going to be beautiful for you guys. You're asking about celebration. You're asking about about, um love you're asking about uh unions reunions you're asking about like i just i want relationships now maybe you didn't want them before but now you're wanting to connect um and the energy that's coming towards you is very interesting because it doesn't match any of the energy so i'm going to draw some cards on it it's actually an energy of staying up at night and like anxiety and stuff so let's figure out what's going on with that can you clarify let's clarify that card and see what that's all about hopefully it's that you're letting it go let's see if we can get a tower tower moment or something maybe it's, let's find out what that is <clears throat> because it looks like you're you're in the the energy of making decisions um oh i forgot to tell you like you want this reunion and stuff to come really fast and you have fast energy so that your your prayers will be answered like whatever you're wanting to come fast this this um love or this these friendships or whatever you want it's gonna it's gonna come fast so don't worry that's a fast moving energy it's a fast night that night is um you know you're gonna be making really good clear decisions uh you got you'll triumph over your past obstacles so wherever you felt stuck you're gonna start to feel unstuck that's why this anxiety card doesn't really make sense to me so let's figure out what's going on um okay you're gonna be seeing things differently um and about relationship and how you felt left out in the cold. You see this devil energy manifesting something new. Okay, I see this. All right. Okay, they want me to pull those too. So lots of cards. So this is so this is what's going to happen in the month um, that's coming towards you in the month. You're feeling really, really good. So it's, it's not going to be a strong, uh, anxious feelings. It's not going to be that. Um, so I would assume that you could use like lavender oil or calming oil or vetiver or something like that. You can use some kind of oil that will calm you down so that you don't get too anxious in this because let me just tell you the story that they're giving me. They're saying that the anxiety is going to bring something up for you that you're going to end up seeing in a different way. It's going to help you connect into this relationship. This is how the relationship is going to get more connected is because you're going to be kind of anxious about something. It's going to help you see something in a different way and then you're going to feel more connected to the person. 
it's gonna put you in a really good spot. Like you're gonna feel very, very um, solid in your in your thoughts and in your decision. Where before you have in the relationship, you had all of this. You had addictions, you had toxicity, you had devil energy, you felt left out in the cold because of your addictions, because of your toxicity, because of the way that you used to handle things, and but it made you feel really, really trapped. Like, is there any way I can get out of these feelings? You know, is there any way that I could stop controlling the world by OCD? This could be OCD even. It could be, it doesn't have to necessarily be drugs and alcohol. It doesn't have to be sex addiction or anything like that. It can, but a lot of times it's OCD. Like, is there any way I can get out of this OCD, right? Because this is how you used to control your relationship. So the anxiety is going to come up and you're not going to do it in this way, which is going to be a beautiful win for you. You're actually going to see it differently and bring in love more and say, you know what? I'm not going to respond in that way anymore. So for instance, if you're a person who has hypersensitivity to issues, so let's say, I don't know, maybe you got to go get your car to get like an oil change or something. And then you go and it's like nobody there. And then all of a sudden it's like all these people start to show up and then you're, you're kind of uncomfortable because they're getting close to you and they're getting near you. And now this perfect scenario of you going to the place to get your oil change and nobody's there and you're kind of like, oh, this is awesome. And then all these people show up and it starts like changing the whole atmosphere of where you're at and it starts to make you kind of anxious anxious about the situation. I don't really want to be here anymore. How much longer for my car to be done? These people, are, they got kids running around. It's making me nervous. I don't like it. Blah, 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 blah. And that's how you're starting to feel. And normally you would get pissed off and um, give dirty looks and rude and or whatever. You just It would just ruin your entire day. Well, I went to the, get my oil changed and this is what happened. And it's just like the whole day is ruined. And now the people that live with you are like, oh, great, man, I should have just taken the car to get an oil change and then we could have just avoided this whole situation of you being in this crappy mood, right? Um, and then, then what happens is then you feel like crap. So then you leave yourself out in the cold and then you're so trapped by this energy, you know, of I, I just didn't handle that well. Right. And, and you're like, why do I always do that to myself? Well, um, you're not going to do that anymore. You're seeing things in a new way, in a new light, and it's changing you. It's changing you to be a better person. And it's going to help you manifest more and ba manifest better because you're not going to be dipping into this older older, heavier vibration where the manifestations don't come through, you're going to stay in the higher vibration and then you're going to be able to manifest pretty much everything you want. So that's really good. I'm glad that they brought that up to us. You're going to, so you're going to be making different decisions than you've ever made before about how you want to respond to things. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is the outcome of the whole thing of the manifestation is getting, um, uh, it's getting the things that you want, like career, travel, everything, work, uh, love, like this is a phallic symbol, you know, expressing yourself. Uh, so this is going to be really, really, this is really good. This is where you're going. This is where you've been. This is what you're doing. You're making the decision. Do I do this or that? This or that? This or that? And the whole month that you're going to be, um, I'm hearing like culturing yourself, like um, uh, molding yourself are the words that I'm getting. Um, Ace of Cups is what's around you. The people around you are feeling really, really good. Um, they're wanting to give love. They're wanting to build on the relationship. They, um, they're they feeling really good emotionally and they feel really positive and creative. And maybe you have some Aquariuses because they're feeling really good. I mean, a lot of people are feeling really good this month, so that's good. Um, they're giving your, you attention and they're appreciating every moment with you and that's making you want to make this decision because these people are feeling so good and they're treating you so well. It's like, why would I want to ruin this and go to this energy? doesn't make any sense. You don't want to do that, right? All right, so where are you going um, in the next, like, like the end of the month, right? You're going to be putting yourself in a really good position for happiness, a really good position for, for, mar for those of you getting married. This is a marriage card. Uh, it's a celebration card of any sort. Um, I know my anniversary is this month, so that makes sense for my Scorpio partner, right? So that's really good. Um, and so... And then what's going to happen is, is you're going to feel like, whether you're a man or a woman, you're going to feel like the king of pentacles. You're going to feel like being very generous and you're going to feel like making lots of plans for the future. And, you, you know, you're going to want to work hard on this relationship and it's going to make you very strong in yourself. You're going to be more reliable to your to your partner and you're going to be wanting to protect your home and your family, but not in a, like a negative OCD way. And then you're going to feel very loyal. And then in the end, it's going to resolve a lot of conflicts that you may have had in the past with yourself more within yourself than with anyone else 
All right, and so the overall three to six months time frame is uh, you're gonna be rained down on with money. Lots of money coming in for you. Three to six months, lots of money. Um, and you have learned to take the things that serve you with you and leave the things that don't. And that's gonna bring you closer to your queen of cups and your queen of cups is love. It's gonna bring you closer to your partner. Um, it's gonna make you more intimate. It's gonna make you uh, have good boundaries that serve everyone. Not you know, ever, It's not just a selfish boundary, but a boundary of just like, this makes us, us happy. Um, you're gonna be able to uh, uh, work on the, the, the mother, daughter, mother, son relationship. It's gonna put you in energy that's gonna make you feel more comfortable with going into your inner child and looking at this, the, those relationships. Um, it's going to make your world a better place. You're going to start following your heart and your dreams and moving more towards happiness than, um, than you had before this devil energy right here. So you're letting the devil energy go and you're moving towards your queen. And somebody else got that in the last reading. Uh, was it, um, I think it was Leo. I just did Leo and it was kind of the same energy of letting the devil go so you can bring in your queen of cups, right? <clears throat> But this for you is not a person. This is your devil energy. You're letting your devil energy go that's controlled you. Um, these things that have like made life so much harder for you. And now you're going to be moving into a freer energy. It's like you're freeing yourself so that you can bring in this, the love to you. Because nobody can rain love down on you if you're not loving yourself, if you're not having it, if you're not open for it. Okay. So it's going to open you up for more of that. Um, Let's go ahead and get some advice cards. And then this is a pretty straight cut reading. I don't think I need to dive into do it too much more. Uh, where some of the other readings were, they, they, there was like not as much clarity as this one has. So, and um, they're coming here for validation anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's see what our advice is. Oh, don't let pride get in your way as you move through this. Nothing will come of the situation of you um, being in this energy. You're very close to achieving your goal, so keep moving forward. It's a time to give rather than take. Yep. And this energy is gaining momentum, the energy of love. Okay, so here we go. So don't let pride get in your way. Pride is devil energy. Okay, so we're, we're trying to... Pride is when the people start um, impeding on your space that you get kind of like, oh, I was here first, you know, what are you doing here? Like, you don't, why are you getting your oil changed when I'm getting mine changed? You know, it's that kind of feeling. We all do that, but try not to go in that direction. Um, nothing will come of the situation if you act like that. Nothing comes from it. Nothing good comes out of that. You're very good. You're very close to achieving your goal, goal of getting this love. So keep moving forward because the energy is now gaining momentum. You're getting stronger with who you are. And now is a time to give rather than take. Okay, because this is a devil energy of selfishness, of taking. It's mine, 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 give. You needed to get your oil changed? Great, I'll go walk around the store and come back later when my car's done or something like that. Okay, the oils that came up for you guys are myrrh, and there's, and you're not the only one. Taurus is the same thing. There's some, there's some mother, son, mother, daughter uh, relationship healing that needs to happen. So, um, this soul, this oil will help your soul's relationship with the maternal mother and with earth. So this is going to bring some earth energy into you. So you're going to feel really, really good about, um, about yourself and you're going to feel really grounded. So what this oil can do is help individuals that have had disturbances with the mother child bond, whether, so that gap could be like a lack of attachment, could be neglect, adoption, trauma, malnourishment, abandonment, child, any childhood issues like that. Um, the, when the soul doesn't get the love from the mother, there's a big hole in the soul. And so we're, this oil will help you work through those issues to help you feel more safe and secure. When the mother and child bond has been disrupted, the soul loses the childlike ability to trust. And that's why you gain these devil energies. You gain them from the, the break of the mother daughter, mother, son, uh, relationship. Now, if you have a good relationship with your mother and you're like, no, that's not me, then maybe you've just connected yourself from your heavenly mother, which um, we all have a heavenly mother and a heavenly father. So maybe you've disconnected from that, or maybe you've disconnected from mother earth. Okay. From Gaia. So, um, 
They, they, this can bring fear and the believing that the world is unsafe. So a lot of OCD comes from that. It's like you try to control your world around you and control people because you fear not being safe. Um, it's, it's letting go of this fear. So this will help you rekindle the trust within your soul and bring you the confidence and the goodness of life, okay? And it'll make you feel more at home in the world. And then I also said that lavender would be really good for you too because of communication, calming you down. Anything that has lavender in it would be really good for you as well. Don't buy these off of Amazon because anybody could just put new caps on and put whatever in there and a lot of people have gotten gypped. doTERRA would really love for you to go through an advocate like myself and um, we will make sure that you get hooked up with someone that teaches you how to use these oils, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to find out what crystal you need to use and then we're gonna release the trapped emotions. All right, what do we have? Scorpio. Oh, good. One of my favorites, citrine. Citrine is the um, bringing light into your world, but it's also the crystal of abundance. It's one of my favorite ones. It's a pretty crystal, so it's something really, really beautiful and fun. I have them all over my house. I love this crystal a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and step, uh, sit back, find a comfortable place. We're going to go ahead and release those trapped emotions. What I want you to do is to listen to the music and start to relax yourself. I'm gonna lead you through three breaths and then I want you to continue breathing because I'm gonna connect you to your breath and then you're gonna continue breathing while I bring in my Archangel Michael and your angels and guides to help release these emotions. Okay, so breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And one more time, breathe in real slow. Continue with slow breaths while I talk, please. I'd like to bring in Archangel Michael. We're going to be working on the bitterness that lives in Scorpio's liver since the age of five first, and then we're going to move to the horror that's been in their bladder since the age of six. So, and anything could have caused these. If you've had a great childhood, then there could have been any kind of little experience that brought this in because we're all going to have life experience. We're all trapped emotions. So, it's in there somewhere from something. And then those of you who had horrible childhood experiences, you probably relate to this pretty quickly. Okay, breathe in. Archangel Michael, we are imagining our liver right now. If you don't know what the liver looks like, Scorpio, just pretend. We're imagining our liver right now. We're imagining the darkness that's in there, the bitterness that lives in there, that triggers every time our OCD gets triggered. You know, it gets us really angry. It gets us really bitter that our life didn't work out the way that we wanted it to work out. You know, that we have fear and that we feel unsafe. So breathe out. I think I breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. This time I want you to breathe in. And I want you to imagine taking all of that out of your liver and handing it to Archangel Michael. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Hand that over to Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, would you mind please transmitting that into light energy so Scorpio no longer has to feel their bitterness anymore inside of their, their liver at the, since the age of five that they trapped it there. And I appreciate that because then they don't have to live with it and nobody else on this planet has to live with it either. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and move into the horror. So breathe in and breathe out. And this time you're going to imagine your bladder. So breathe in and find that horror that's been lurking in your bladder this whole time. And you're like, oh, is that why I don't feel, is that why I feel unsafe? Because something happened that made me feel unsafe at the age of six. Breathe in and breathe out. This time we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna grab that horror, we're gonna give it to Archangel Michael. Breathe in, grab the horror, and breathe out all the darkness. Very good. Archangel Michael, would you mind turning that into light energy that so that nobody has to deal with the horror that Scorpio felt at the age of six? And that, so that Scorpio does not have to feel it anymore. All right, we're going to breathe in one more time. Make sure that we get all the residual stuff out. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Let it leave your body. 
I want to thank Archangel Michael and the angels and guides and God and Jesus and whoever was here with us while we released these trap emotions. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for this gift that you allowed me to help people with this, um, removing this trapped emotion because I remember what it was like when I was going through my spiritual journey and I felt like I just couldn't move forward and I didn't know how, I didn't have any help. I didn't know, know how to get help. I didn't even know anyone. And that you led me to this, this so that I could help other people and I'm really grateful and appreciative for that. All right, Scorpio, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for coming to this reading and staying with me the whole time. If you like this reading or entertain in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified as soon as I post something new. And I'm super, super excited for uh, the month of July. I hope that you are too, that we get to get rid of this devil energy and we get to move into love. And that's always a blessing and always beautiful. You have a wonderful day. Bye.